Um, still, this has 40% more Hey everyone and welcome back on the channel for yet another episode of Rumor Decoder. My name is Alex. Today we are looking at the New Balance 2022 road lineup, at least uh, the very fast and exciting part. We won't be looking today at uh, the fresh foam shoes, so the shoes uh, equipped with that fresh foam, uh, very cushioned foam um, in the midsole. Here today we have uh, the fuel cell foam uh, all the way on the Supercom shoes, so the shoes equipped with a carbon plate. This is the new, um, you know, the new naming at New Balance. Supercomp will stand for all the shoes with a carbon plate. And we also have the fuel cell Rebel V3, which does not have a carbon plate. So it's not named Supercomp, um, but yeah, you understand the, the difference. Let's begin with the Rebel V3. Rebel V2 was a huge success in 2021. And so they decided to um, sort of use that success, prolong it, and uh, they did some minor tweaks in order to increase the audience, increase the number of runners that may be interested in the Rebel, a bit more width in the platform, in the forefoot and in the heel, trying to um, make the ride a bit more stable, trying to prevent from that medial collapsing that some runners experience because of the softness of the fuel cell foam. And I believe a bit more stack height as well, two, two extra millimeters. Same here, a bit more cushion, a bit more bounce, um, trying to make it even more appealing for more people. Um, this shoe will release around September, October 2022. So still nine months for you to buy some Rebel V2 with some nice discounts and use it. The price point will still be 130 dollars, 130 euros, which is um, a very good one. I mean, for the for that type of shoe with that type of uh, super critical foam, um, fuel cell being nitro TPU, nitrogen infused TPU, and it's a very good price point, very competitive for that for that shoe. Am I interested in it? Um, yes and no. I would like to see what other changes will improve um, my experience with the shoe. I had issues with the Rebel, as you may know. If not, you can go check the, um, the trends video, the trends series, where, where I explain uh, how my uh, liking of a shoe evolved with time. And the first episode was with the Rebel V2. I'm gonna put a link here, upper right hand corner. But the Rebel was a bit too plush for me. And I don't think this new iteration will address this. So it may not be a pass. I may still try it, but I don't have very high expectations, at least for me. Uh, but I believe for people liking the Rebel in 2021, this will still be a killer in 2022, 2023. Um, so if you're uh, among those people, I think you can be happy for that. Next, let's move on to the Supercomp lineup. So Supercomp carbon plated shoes at New Balance with that uh, fuel cell foam. First one, let's move uh, with stacks increasing. Supercomp Pacer. So this is a 5K, 10K oriented shoe, low stack, low to the ground, more ground feel, and um, a competitor to the Takumi Sen 8, the upcoming Nike Street Fly, uh, Metaspeed Edge, all those shoes. I believe it will be less than 25 millimeters of stack height in the heel, so it would be track um, legal, at least for people running under the World Athletics rules. Um, and eight millimeters drop. So if we have 25 in the heel, this would put us at 17 in the forefoot. Um, the weight is rumored, or at least I think um, Running Warehouse um, measured it at 196 grams for US size eight and a half or nine. So it should come at around 230 grams in my size US 11, which would make it a heavier option, I believe, um, compared to the Takumi Sen 8. The Strict Fly is rumored to be very, 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 very lightweight, um, below six ounces, below even maybe five ounces for US uh, men's uh, size eight and a half or nine, very lightweight. So the Super Compacer may be a little too um, heavy. Let's see. I mean, I'm very excited for this shoe for sure. And um, I, I will test it, no, no, no doubt here. Price point will be $150 and it will release uh, like the Rebel in during the fall, September or October. Um, so we'll have to be patient for it. 
Next, moving um, with you know stack heights uh, going higher and higher, we have the Supercomp Elite V3 replacing the RC Elite V2. Um, so here we have a race legal, uh, so sub 40 millimeters of stack height in the heel shoe. And it comes with that new technology developed by New Balance, uh, the Energy Arc technology, which is a combination of a cambered plate um, that runs all the way through the shoe and that very special midsole that has um, a strategically placed void in the middle and the foam goes um, on, on both sides. The idea here being that you will um, put force on that foam, it will sort of uh, widen, it will uh, broaden, it will get you know, a, bit, a bit wider, um, allowing for more forces to uh, get transferred to the plate and that camber will help with that uh, lever propulsing you with your toe off. Interesting technology, my only fear is that um, it will work very fine for people that uh, have a very centered uh, foot strike, a very centered, uh, you know, uh, gait cycle. People landing a bit too much um, laterally or medially may experience some issues because of that, uh, you know, slight piece of foam on which they will be landing and um, not much contact uh, applied, you know, um, not much contact zone applied on the, on the ground and therefore it may cause some instability. That's just me thinking uh, how it may work. So I believe it will still have a 39 millimeters stack height in the heel, 31 in the full foot, eight millimeters drop. That's my sort of expectations. The, the upper looks like, like being some booty style um, knitted upper. Construction is, is interesting. I'm not a fan of, of those uh, booty uppers, um, but maybe this one will, um, will change my mind. And the weight drops, um, so I think RC Lead V2 was 7.8 ounces, 226 grams in uh, US men's size 9. And this I expect around 7.5, 7.4 ounces, somewhere around 212, 215, 218 grams, um, which will make it even more competitive against the other super shoes. Very interesting. Um, this one should release around uh, July, I think. Um, and uh, you know even more units than later in the year. So fall marathons uh, may may work uh, with this shoe for you. And last but not least, the Supercomp Trainer, the high stack race illegal shoe, um, 41 and a half millimeters in the heel, I believe. I suppose I think there's no info about that, but correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, eight millimeters drop, which would put us around. 33 and a half in the forefoot. Not necessarily a direct competitor against the Primex with those 50 millimeters in the heel, but I think it's the same philosophy, something just to keep your legs as fresh as possible. Um, even, you know, a race shoe for people uh, who doesn't have their gear checked at the beginning of uh, World Athletic sanctioned races, so me and you, essentially. Um, and um, yeah, interesting. I mean, they, they are trying something different. Same here, Energy Act technology, that cambered plate and that uh, big void in the middle. And uh, my fear is a bit the same, a higher stack height and that, um, that technology, will it work for people uh, with stability issues? Let's see, let's find out. Um, I don't want to give a, you know, any final assessment. Uh, this is just uh, some, some thinking here. Um, this shoe will be at uh, 180 dollars, 180 euros, and very, very interesting um, compared to the TC, which it may or may not replace. This is still unclear. I believe they are trying to, you know, have it as a replacement to the TC. But will the TC still be in the line somewhere? I don't know. Um, still, this has 40% more energy return compared to the TC. This is New Balance data. Um, so very, very interesting. Uh, TC was standing for training and competition. So same here, the, the, the Supercomp trainer will be a trainer and race day shoe. 40% more energy return is just mental. Um, so, you know, this is, this is very exciting stuff. This shoe will be the first one dropping in April and then more units in the summer with all the production and, and uh, you know, um, supply chain issues uh, or not. So uh, very, very exciting. I think if I, should, if I had to rank them, and you can play this game in the comments if you want as well, 
I would put the Supercom Trainer um, first, then the Supercom Pacer, then the Supercom Elite V3, and then the Rebel V3. This may change when they drop. Uh, my assessments may may uh, be different, but this is how I would I would rank them. Um, but in any event, I I'm not sure, but I think New Balance has one of the most exciting, most innovative lineup for 2022. And this is why we had to have a dedicated rumor decoder episode for that. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, enjoy your run today, enjoy your ride, go beyond your limits, and I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of the Advent Calendar. Bye-bye.